Hi, this is Harold Smith. This is part three of our series on uh, my leak family genealogy. Uh, like I said, this is part three. Last time, part two, I talked to you about Bess of Hardwick, who was my cousin, and uh, she lived uh, during the time of Elizabeth I. She was good, good friends of Elizabeth I. And when Elizabeth I died, uh, Bess of Hardwick was the richest woman in England. And uh, her story is just a very ex uh, interesting story, and uh, particularly uh, to, to me and to my cousins and the family, because uh, she was our cousin. As I told you before, the Leak family was very involved in the, in the nobility of England for 600 years, from 1050 uh, uh, all the way up into the, the late 1600s. And uh, so Bess of Hardwick is uh, uh, one of those interesting stories. Now I want to talk to you about Bess's granddaughter, Arabella. Right here, Arabella. Now history has also indicated that uh, her name is Arbella. So some historians call her Arbella, some call her Arabella. I like Arabella because the only reason is because I have a granddaughter named Isabella and Arabella kind of goes along with Isabella. So that's why I prefer Arabella. Now, Arabella is another interesting story. And again, she is uh, uh, our cousin and she is the granddaughter of Bess of Hardwick. Now, Bess of Hardwick had a daughter named Elizabeth. Now, this is an interesting story because Elizabeth marries Charles Stuart, which is the great grandson of Henry VII. And uh, so now we have our cousin Elizabeth married to royalty. And, uh, and then the interesting part is that they have a child named Arabella. And now Arabella is part of the royal family, and she is in line to become queen after Elizabeth I. Now, this uh, uh, Bess of Hardwick had uh, eight children, two died young, but six uh, grew to maturity, and she was very instrumental in arranging all the marriages. And so when it came to Isabella, uh, Charles's mother and best, they kind of schemed together to get Isabella and Charles together and arrange the marriage. And so uh, when uh, Charles's mother and Charles came and visited Hardwick Hall, well, uh, Charles's mother got sick for almost five days in bed. Well, during that time, Charles and Elizabeth spent time together and they fell in love. And so uh, before uh, best and Charles's mother could finish their scheme of arranging the marriage, Charles and Elizabeth had already fallen in love and had decided to get married. Well, they got married, and Elizabeth I, who was the queen, got so mad because there was a law among the land in England that anybody of royalty, which Charles Stuart was, had to get the permission of Elizabeth before they got married. And since they didn't get Elizabeth's marriage, she felt like that Bess of Hardwick and Charles's mother were scheming and up to a scheme to dethrone Elizabeth. And so she was very upset. In fact, she threw Charles's mother into the Tower of London prison and asked her and questioned her. And there is no record that Bess was ever thrown into the Tower of London. So we don't know exactly what happened, but, Bess and, and Charles's mother explained and said, listen, they just fell in love. They are the ones that got, decided to get married. We didn't have nothing to do with it. Well, they did have something to do with it, but they claimed they didn't. So eventually Queen Elizabeth kind of calmed down and she let uh, Charles's mother out of prison in the Tower of London. But unfortunately, Charles, after they had their daughter Arabella, when Arabella was less than one years old, her father died. And uh, 
while Arabella, before she was, when she was around six years old, then Elizabeth, her mother, also passed away. So now she is an orphan. And she becomes the care of Bess of Hardware. Now Bess has plans for Arabella. Now in order to understand the complexity and the scheme that unfolds, I've got to show you this chart uh, of, of how Charles Stewart was related to Henry VII. So uh, I'm gonna change charts here. And uh, this chart shows us the Tudor and Stewart line of succession. Here we have King Henry VII, and he had three children. One was King Henry VIII, who became king. He had three children uh, with different wives. Uh, the first king to succeed Henry VIII was Edward VI. He died early, uh, young, and then uh, Mary became queen of England. Uh, she also died uh, early, and then Elizabeth, her half-sister, became queen of England. So this was the Tudor line. Now we come over to the Stuart line. King Henry VII's oldest daughter, Margaret, married James IV of Scotland, who was the king of Scotland. And they had a child uh, who, who was uh, James V of Scotland. And they had a daughter who was Mary, queen of Scott. And then uh, she, she had a son who was James VI of Scotland. And he was in line uh, to be the next king following the death of Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth I, because Queen Elizabeth I was not married and had no children. And so with her death, the uh, descendants of uh, King Henry VIII, there would be no heir to the throne uh, because there would be no... Uh, no children. So uh, now we come over to uh, Mary, who was uh, the youngest uh, sister of King Henry VIII and the daughter of King Henry VII. And uh, you come down, and the significant part is that I want to point out is William Seymour, who is the great. Uh, grandson of King Henry the Seventh, and I can show you now that he married Arabella, uh, who was our cousin. Now, right here in the middle, we sh we're showing Bess of Hardwick, and uh, uh, as I indicated before, uh, she was very instrumental in arranging the marriages of all her children, so she came up with a scheme with uh, Charles Stewart's uh, mother. They came up with a scheme uh, to get Elizabeth, Bess's daughter, and Charles together, and uh, felt like that would be a great uh, marriage together and certainly would be an enhancement to uh, uh, Charles the Stewart, who was in line to be the next king. Now, the, the story really becomes uh, even more interesting uh, uh, now that uh, Charles and Elizabeth are married because they have a daughter named Arabella. Now Arabella has royal blood, and she is in line to become the next queen. Uh, she is behind... Uh, in uh, succession uh, to uh, James, the uh, uh, Mary, Queen.
Queen of Scots' son. But anyway, she's in line to be queen. And there are some who who really want Arabella to be the queen, the next queen, because she lives in England. Uh, James uh, is the king of Scotland, and he's in Scotland. And there were many who did not want a person from Scotland to be the king, become the king of England. So there was a, a group that uh, supported Arabella, but in the end, uh, James, the uh, uh, sixth of Scotland, becomes king of England, and he changes his name to James the first. So. Uh, Arabella, uh, she is living with Bess of Hardwick. She's the granddaughter of Bess and been under her care since the age of about uh, six or seven when her parents had passed away. And uh, Bess is very eager to, uh, to teach her, to train her, to, uh, to really arrange the best marriage possible for her, and uh, there are many uh, opportunities and many plans that were put into place for Arabella to get married, but uh, uh, all of them don't work out. And uh, now Arabella is uh, getting on up uh, in age. She's uh, in her 30s. And she decides that she's going to take things into her own hands. And so uh, she arranges to marry William Seymour. And uh, this is a very significant event because William Seymour, as you see here, is the great, great grandson of King Henry VII. And so now, this right here is uh, uh, the, the Tudor line, and now Arabella, while her father is, uh, um, is related to the Stuarts, now uh, her husband, William, is the great-grandson of Henry VII. And so this really enhances Arabella's position to become at some point Queen of England. However, they also marry in secret and uh, James I is very upset because they did not get his approval. Uh, he takes it as a threat and uh, uh, there uh, had already been um, a plot to dethrone James the first and put in Arabella as queen, uh, but you know before their marriage, so now he is really suspect. And uh, in fact, Sir Walter Raleigh uh, was charged with treason because he was one of the main characters uh, supporting Arabella to become the queen of England, and he was charged with treason uh, and beheaded. Uh, but um, Arabella is, I think, her main motivation. She wants to get married. I think William had a little bit more of uh, ambition because this enhanced his position uh, in the succession of kings and queens. And uh, But anyway, James I, the king of England, throws both of them in prison. Arabella is put under house arrest. And William Seymour is put in prison in the Tower of London. Uh, Arabella and William uh, uh, make a plan to escape, and they're going to escape to France. And uh, in the process, uh, uh, they were to rendezvous on the coast of England and go over together to France, but something, William was delayed a little bit. Uh, he made it to France, but Arabella, uh, as she was... Uh, 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 leaving uh, the coast of England was captured by the guards of James the first, and so she, Arabella, was put 
into prison in the Tower of London. And uh, she begged uh, James I for two years, stating that uh, she was not after his throne uh, and to have mercy on her. But James I refused. And, uh, and then after several years, Arabella gave up hope and she stopped eating. And as a result of not eating properly and, uh, uh, and half starving herself, she got sick and died in the Tower of London. And uh, with her passing away, Arabella kind of fades away uh, into history. And uh, a lot of people don't know about Arabella, but Arabella was our cousin. Uh, Arabella <clears throat> had royal blood from her father, Charles Stewart, uh, and she married William Seymour, who was also of royal, uh, great-grandson of uh, Henry the Seventh, And uh, so she could have been the next queen. But now she is referred to as the lost queen of England. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, interesting story about Arabella. It's, it's, uh, it's a sad story, a tragic story. But uh, this is another one of our stories of our cousins that are descended from the leeks and a part of royalty in England. Thank you. Have a great day.